Hello, this is Abraham Feiner reporting for Kids First. Today, I'm reviewing Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody was able to hit a few high notes, figuratively and literally. I really enjoy this movie and it's probably on my top list this year. I enjoyed this movie for, one, having probably the greatest soundtrack of Queen songs because it is about Queen, and two, it was really entertaining overall and was really comedic. There's one big problem that stood out to me, though. It didn't go in depth into the problems that Freddie Mercury had in his career and would have would have been much better if it had an R rating to have more sensitive topics. And that I think is why it suffered from the PG-13 rating. Bohemian Rhapsody is about Freddie Mercury's rise to fame and how he joined Queen. It starts off with him tracking following this one band who he really enjoys. He sees that the lead singer quits one night and offers his help. They blow him off and say his teeth look funny and he won't be able to sing with them. He proves them wrong by singing really well in front of them without a script or anything. And this really impresses them. He's immediately hired on the spot and they start touring together. They get small gigs at bars, college dorms, and things like that, but they're looking to make themselves bigger. So they sell their van and get a session at a recording studio. This small record gets the attention of a major producer who also produces Elton John and gives them an offer. My favorite part about this film was the ending scene where they were at Live Aid and, and Freddie Mercury was back with the band. This looked like an exact representation of Live Aid from, the real, from real life. It just looked like a more high definition version, which was really, really good. I thought this was great because it had so much attention to detail and Remy Malek's, Remy Malek's performance as Freddie Mercury was outstanding. There are two really big names in this movie. Remy Malek, who pl portrays Freddie Mercury, who you probably know from Night at the Museum, and he has also won an Emmy for the TV show iRobot. The person that plays his wife, or past wife, I guess you would say, is is Joan Boyton. She has she's most famous for being in last year's Murder on the Orient Express, which I also enjoyed as well. This movie's message is very clear, and you should be yourself, and no one should judge you for that. I recommend this film for anyone that if has that enjoys musical biotopics or Queen. There is some, there is a lot of swearing in this film. There's one F bomb dropped, and also there's a lot of drinking and heavy partying. I would recommend this film for ages 18 and, I mean, 15 to 18, but adults will mostly enjoy as well. I give this movie four out of five stars and is showing in theaters next Friday, November 2nd. This was Abraham Feiner reporting for Kids First, and if you enjoyed this review, go subscribe to our YouTube channel to have more content like this.